Welcome back to TMZ Live. Uh, heading into summer, a lot of people getting ready to travel, um, and more people than ever are returning to air travel, just feeling safer. Look, yeah. we have people vaccinated. It's almost like COVID is not the main concern when you're flying now. Instead, it is unruly passengers. There is a report there have been 3,000 just this year, 3,000 incidents of unruly passengers, and that goes anywhere from someone refusing to wear a mask to what we saw on a Delta flight uh, just last week where a passenger uh, got up and tried to open the door mid-flight. Mm. It took several other passengers and flight attendants to get this person down. And that person is now facing, has been charged, and could end up, if convicted, going to jail for like 20 years. Wow. So with so many incidents happening, we're heading into summer, how is the FAA handling this? How do they handle these incidents? And is there anything that can be done to make the skies safer mm. for you? So joining us Right now, uh, we are honored to have the FAA Administrator Steve Dixon joining us right now. Uh, Steve, welcome to TMZ Live. Well, thanks, Charles and Mike, for having me uh, uh, on today. And as you said, this is an extremely uh, concerning situation. Uh, air travel on a commercial airplane in the U.S. is the safest form of travel in human history. And we want to make sure it stays that way. But these unruly passenger situations have gotten out of control. And uh, so we implemented a zero tolerance policy earlier this year uh, to, to deal with this situation. And it can result in fines of up to $35,000. And as you said, uh, even jail time in some situations. Steve, do you attribute this? Is there any correlation to that the world is coming out of COVID-19 and everyone has been cooped up? It just seems like there has been such an increase in these incidences. Is there a correlation to COVID? Well, there, there have been an increase in incidents. Uh, you know, my experience as an airline captain, you know, uh, these types of events do happen from time to time. It's really important uh, for, for everyone to remember where they are on an airplane. You know, we're obviously in close quarters. Sit back, enjoy your flight. But you've got to follow the crew member's instructions, whether it's fastening your seatbelt or putting your tray table up or putting your mask on. You know, there, there, right now there still is a CDC requirement for masks on, uh, on forms of public transportation. So we've all got to, got to cooperate uh, with the flight crews and follow the directions because the flight crews are there for your safety. One of the questions we had after that, um, after the Delta incident, the most recent one. A lot of people, look, it was incredible that you had all these uh, other passengers get up and very heroically get this person down until they could make an emergency landing. As you see, this is the body cam as police came on and removed him from the plane. But one of the questions we had is, was there an air marshal involved in taking this person down? Um, because a lot of people felt like this was the perfect situation where you would have an air marshal step in. Do you know in this instance whether there was one on, on board the plane? In these instances, the air marshals, we do work very closely with the TSA on the uh, air marshal program, and they are uh, there uh, as an additional safety and security measure. And so they will get involved in situations. I'm not sure uh, of the facts of this particular case, whether there was an air marshal in this particular flight. But, uh, but whether or not there is an air marshal on the airplane, the bottom line is you don't want to be that person. You don't want to, if I'm the captain of the airplane, you don't want to make me have to turn the airplane around, go back to the gate or divert uh, because you acted out on an airplane. It's got to stop. How do you predict if somebody's going to lose it 35,000 feet in the air? How do you stop this? Again, we've all got to remember the basics of following the instructions of the flight crew. That has been the, the same throughout uh, commercial aviation. The flight crews are there, the flight attendants in particular, are there for your safety. And so it's very important that everyone cooperates, remembers where they are, uh, and follows the crew's directions. Again, whether it's fastening your seatbelt or uh, complying with uh, other safety instructions that the crew provides. We've seen what has been happening in our country over the last, even before the pandemic, just how charged things have been politically in the country. Um, and we've heard people say that it, it feels like we are um, more separate than we have been in decades. Do you think that what's happening, that basically you're just seeing in the air a reflection of what we've seen uh, on the ground, that people uh, are just speaking out, whatever their opinion is, whichever side they're on, they are speaking out and they don't want to be told uh, to do something that they don't want to do. Is, is that basically what we're seeing happen on air travel now? Well, you know, I'm, I'm certainly not a, a psychologist, uh, but certainly study what happens in society. And uh, again, this is about behavior 
and about the environment that we're in that, that we uh, really treasure in the U.S. Uh, we are a very mobile society. We're the most mobile society uh, anywhere on earth, and, uh, and we really value air travel. So uh, it's important that we all work together to keep the system safe uh, as it has always been. Uh, I do think that, that these events are a reflection of some of the things that have been going on. You talked about people being cooped up in a lot of pent-up demand, uh, but we need to work through this. And again, these incidents really do uh, have to stop. Uh, and the FAA will keep its zero tolerance, uh, tolerance program in place uh, until the rates do decline to an acceptable level. This is probably the most frequent um, incident you're having, especially this year with the 3,000 reported incidents. Someone not wearing a mask or refusing to put on a mask, what kind of fine is that going to cost you, just so people know before they get on a plane and take this stance? Depending on uh, the circumstances of the individual event, it can result in a fine, a civil penalty of up to $35,000. And uh, if there's more than one event on a particular flight, which we did have back in December, we, uh, we uh, levied a fine of over $50,000 in that case. Okay. Wow. So that is uh, a very Thanks expensive stance to take. Uh, and not regardless of the money, yeah. just the, the chaos it creates on the, fl on the plane where people, um, it's just, it's not pleasant for anyone. So like you said, uh, we've all got to work together to make this better. Uh, we appreciate you being with us so much, Steve. Um, good luck, and I, I hope that uh, it is a quiet summer uh, for you and for all, all of us traveling. Thank you, and thank you for having me on.